though he had no sin to wash away, he was baptized by his cousin John to fulfill the law. Throughout his life, our Savior went about doing his heavenly Father's will, calling his apostles, organizing his church, teaching the gospel, and healing the people. And then he laid down his life for us and rose from the tomb that we might live forever in the kingdom of our God. Now, Elder Pratt, isn't that what all the prophets have taught? Yes, Brother Joseph. All the prophets since the beginning of time. I hope he expects an awful lot then. And that you take a good long time getting it done. Brother Joseph, Brother Fordham is hardly breathing. I'm coming. I understand. Go on. Joseph! Joseph, what is it? What do I you need? My brother, the Lord would have us heal these people. Right. Brethren, when the light rested upon me, I saw two personages of indescribable brightness and glory standing above me in the air. And one of them spoke to me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, this is my beloved son, hear him. They spoke to you. Yes. I received a promise that at some future time, the fullness of the restored gospel would be given to me. And now it has. And though I have been persecuted for saying so, George, it's true. I know it. And I know that God knows it, and I cannot tonight. Well, then I'm... Why, Emma, haven't we a home for Sister Manny? Why, yes. This is your home, Jane, if you want to make it so. Oh, I do. <laughs> Go ahead and come, Jane. Charity, believe it. As much as the sisters. Oh, you think so? <sighs> Only God knows the industry of his daughters and the service they provide his children. Well, we have been thinking about organizing, and Sister Eliza has even drafted a constitution for a charitable society. She has? Wonderful. I feel God's hand is in this, but I need to study it out in my mind. Do you, do you think I could meet with the sisters tomorrow? Oh, if the sisters can wait that long. Then tomorrow it is. But for tonight, Sister Smith. In coming together to build the temple, we also came together to celebrate the wonders and the beauties of life and to express them in the most praiseworthy of ways, in music, in music, in drama, and dancing. Joseph made to me in the beginning. Oh, Robert, that's the promise God makes to all of us. Mothers, will you have your children in eternity? Yes. Yes, you shall, for they shall have eternal life, for their debt is paid and they are only absent for a moment. That is the purpose of the temple to bring together those who dwell on earth with those who dwell in heaven, that the hearts of our family members may be bound together forever.
after the prophet's death. We entered the temple rejoicing to make our covenants with God. We could not have known the comfort and peace those covenants would bring. Or the knowledge and understanding we would receive about God's plan for us on this earth. We emerged from the temple endowed with power to overcome the trials of life. And what trials we had! The persecution that had taken Joseph was now turned on us. Mobs gathered and fog were burned. Day by day they were driving us from our homes. Sunday, February 1st, 1846. We worshipped together. The next day, Brigham Young directed that we be ready to leave the city with only four hours notice. But even as we closed our shops and packed our wagons, we continued to throng the temple. And over the plains of Iowa, there stands Joseph's temple, a magnificent house of God. Here in the Salt Lake Valley, facing east to that beautiful temple in Nauru, stands Brigham's temple, the Salt Lake Temple. They look toward one another as bookends between which there are volumes that speak of the thousands who made the long journey from the Mississippi River testimonies which have been given of him, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is the testimony last of all which we give of him, that he lives. For we saw him even on the right hand of God, and we heard the voice bear record that he is the only begotten of the Father, and that by him and through him and of him the worlds are and have been created. And the inhabitants thereof are begotten sons and daughters unto God. Yeah. 